and friends now is thinking we need to add more details to our castle. This is not enough. I need to add the bridge and maybe a doorway so that it can get inside my castle. And I certainly need some windows to be looking out. I haven't used all of my shapes. I have used squares and rectangles, triangles, but I haven't used any circles yet, any semicircles, or any arches. So I need to think about how I'm going to use those in my final piece. And here's an arch that I made the other day. And I look at it. Wow, it's so big. I might have to make a smaller one. And that's what I was saying before. You may not have all of your shapes ready. You might have to make them as you go. So let's see. If I did this, I could turn it into that kind of drawbridge. But I think it's just too big. I think I need to make it smaller. So I have two choices. I could make it shorter. Ooh, that might work. It's a really big door. Maybe I can put an, a semicircle in there. So why don't we make it shorter by taking the scissors and then cutting it lower. That, getting rid of that. And let's see. Ooh, it's still pretty big. I don't mind. All right, so that can go there. I'll tuck it under. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. What else? Let's see. I need some windows, some small windows. I think we're gonna use this blue, this really dark blue for my window. But that'll come in handy. Ooh, that'll be nice. Hmm. Not sure how to use this one yet. Maybe I could make a small little window there. I think I need to. off part of my circle. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's too wide. Let me make it a little narrower. So I am making a semicircle. A semicircle is another way of saying like a half circle. So we have to explore if you don't have the circle. And I wanted it to be smaller. All right, so that looks a little tall right there. Nice. Let's see if that works. Ooh, that's a nice detail. Put that right there. And I know that if I make, if I make a rectangle, I can make a lot of these at once. So let's decide on how tall it should be. I make a long rectangle like this, and I make another one the same size. So what I'll do is I'll put this right on top. Right on top, I'll pinch it. So I've got two on top, you see? Right along there, line it up here. And I can cut another one. I might have enough for another one. Ooh, I'm gonna line them all up so that my rectangles are the same. Let me get rid of the scrap there. So I have three that are the same. They're all the same width. Now what I can do is I take these and I can turn them into windows. And then they'll be all the same size. It's kind of nice. So let's think about that. What would be a good, ooh, I could put a bunch across there. So let's see. I want my windows to be like little rectangles. So I want to do about that size. Look at all these that come the same size. If I really want, I could cut them again. So now I have a pile of these. What I can do is get my glue stick, get a little glue on my finger, stuck to my finger, and then I can rub it on. So let's see. I'm rubbing that on, and I can decide where should it go. So I'm going to put one underneath the tower, on this side, and I want to put it the same on that side. That's called symmetrical, so my finger's not sticky enough. There we go. And I'm rubbing it along the top. It's hard to see, but it's blue. And I'm gonna put that right where I put the other one. Wow, those are twins now. Twin towers. All right, let's see. Uh oh, this one didn't get glued on, so we better get that on there before we lose it. It's super cute, and we don't wanna lose it. That made me think of the door in that picture we saw. Put some glue on the back of this. I'm gonna tuck it under here. Now, 
you can add your windows whatever color you have. I like to make my windows the same color because that ties all of it together. Everyone knows, oh, those are the windows. Sometimes if we make windows, we made a green window there, we would not be able to see that green window on the green background. It would only work if it was like a lighter or darker green. For example, I can put some of these dark blue windows on this light blue and it will work. Ooh. A lot of windows because I want my people to look out and enjoy the view. Maybe there's a big lake or ocean. Maybe they're on a mountain and there's an ocean. I don't know. Seems like a good idea. If you don't have a lot of windows, now it'll be very dark on the inside of the castle. When we looked at those pictures of the castle, they had a lot of details. Oh my goodness, I think we can keep going. I think we need more. Even more. Hmm. Put some up here. Some there. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to save that for right now. And we're going to see if we can find some other shapes to put on. Maybe we can find something for it in here. So let's take a look around on our little shape shopping. Oh yeah, remember these? We made these before. They're a little too big though. Hmm. I think they're a little too big. I think we're going to have to make some smaller. put them together and do it at the same time. And sometimes when you do it at the same time, you can make two for the same size. That's a little faster than making one. do is we'll layer it. So we'll put a semicircle right along here. That shape. And this is the fun part when you get to put lots of shapes. Shapes and shapes and shapes. And the more shapes the better if you put them on in a careful tidy way. If you just sprinkle shapes on, ugh, that would not look good. That would be very sloppy. But it's nice when we put them on and then kind of have one over here and one over here like, like brothers and sisters, right? All right, so maybe what we can do is we can put some very cute skinny, skinny parts there. So we have purple, we have orange. If we wanted to make them the same, we could, but I don't think we need to. I think what we'll do is we'll put, let's put a green one. I'm going to put a green stripe here. Right there. Okay. And then, ooh, I don't mind that. It could go off the edge. That's cute. All right. Get some of this. And it's kind of like a roof or oh, a balcony maybe? That would be cool. I could even trim it to make it like a triangle right there. That's cute. I'll have a triangle for later if I want that. All right, so then I put green there. Would be a, oh, maybe with this color. This one over here, that's too big. I have to make it more narrow. All the way to the purple and go off a little bit. So 
And I'm actually paying attention to how long do I want it to be because it's relationship to the purple swim. So that's pretty cool. And I know that I want to go off like this so I can go like that now. Well, it's easier to cut in my hand. And we'll get the glue on that side. Together. Those look like little extra roofs, little rooftops there, and then some arches behind it. And we could put some more windows here. You know, maybe that's the ballroom or the, the swimming pool. Or the ice cream shop. I don't know what your castle has, but wow, I've heard some great ideas. Oh, it's stuck. Maybe you need to let me know what you think I should put there. And this one, maybe we'll have to change the shape of the windows there. I don't know. There we go. Ooh, that one was extra. If you're like me, you get your fingers really sticky. That happens. Sometimes art making is messy, so make sure that you don't get your sticky fingers on any other furniture. Okay. Ooh, it's going well. Mm, I think we need to do something in here. I don't know. Maybe we need another one of these arches, but I don't know what color to put. We could put a color. We could do one of these. This is a nice color. Mm. Go up. I sure like green. Or we could choose to put a, a triangle there, maybe. Maybe a triangle. We could put some stairs there. Let's see. Ooh, this is a big triangle. I think that's too big. But we could put. We could put something. We need to put something there. Maybe we'll put. A little, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. A little piece there. I think we should. I might need to make a castle top. So I wanted to show you how to make a castle top. So if I wanted to have this shape, go here, but I wanted to have a cutout, what I can do is I can cut out the square. And I can do that again. If I want, I can keep going. Okay. Ooh, a castle top. So let's see. I think they're too tall though, so I'm going to make them a little shorter. And that's cute. A little balcony or something there. That will look lovely. So I'm going to put a little blue right there. Cute. Okay. You know what we need? I think it would look really cute if we had, let's see if I have this in a selection of triangles. I thought I had a, a black triangle. Okay, let me get my pieces here. I'm gonna make a shark fin. A shark swimming in my moat. Okay, that's gonna be scary and no one's gonna want to come steal my castle. So I'll have a shark there. Oh, no one's gonna come. I need to make my bridge. 
see. I don't have a brown, but you know. I have some brown here. And I can take my crayon. And make it a little more brown. So if you don't have a color of paper, you can always make it as long as you have crayons or markers. All right, let me see. I'm going to make my bridge kind of like a trapezoid. I think some of my first graders know what a trapezoid is. Trapezoids have a shorter side and a longer side and then two diagonal sides. Let's see, does that work? It doesn't really go all the way across. Maybe I did it too small. It's kind of like a triangle that had its front top. Oh, there we go. That could work. I have to get rid of some of this, maybe. Now, I can fold that down or I can cut it off. And then I can glue that right like that. Oh, wow. and it connects my door out. I'm gonna color it brown again. to the sharks, eaten by sharks if you don't follow the rules. Okay, let's see, what else can we add? Ooh, that's so cute. All right. Ooh, maybe we need some more, we don't have any circles. We need to make some circles, some little circle wands there. Maybe we can put some circle, oh, a circle up there. Okay, so I'm gonna get a nice color here. I think we can put a yellow one. So I need some yellow paper. I don't have any yellow on my selection, so I'm gonna get some yellow. Yellow for my scrap container. I'm saving my scraps every class. When you save your scraps, then you can have, let's see, that would be nice. Make a circle out of this. cute. Oh, maybe the princess is in the tower and she looks out there. Let's put a little, I'm going to put a smaller green circle inside that circle. A circle inside of a circle. Always lovely. Always good. Let's see. That will look like, oh, that's fancy. Circle in a circle. Okay. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm. I think we can put some more of these blue shapes around. So let's get our circles into position. Only the princess, that's me. I get to be up there and read books and look out the window. That'll be lovely. Okay, we've got four more of these, so I think they should go here. Oh, secret one joined us. I didn't expect that.
You could make your windows in shape like arches. A lot of choices. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, we got some triangle windows too. Curling up. We don't want any pieces curling up, so glue them down. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, I'm going to save that for next class. All right, we started with a nice castle, and now we have some more shapes. We have the tops. I don't know if we had those before, but now we have doors and windows. We have a bridge. Let me get the bridge a little bit. We have a shark swimming in the water. I have arches, semicircle, rectangles, squares, semicircle, circle, triangle, rectangle. So we have a lot of shapes. So this is going very well. All right. Next class, we're going to get even smaller with our shapes, even more teeny tiny. So we can use some of these good shapes. You'll see.